What up, players? Welcome back to War Boss Tay's Spooky Toba unboxing, Spooky Toba Fest of all vampire counts and spooky models. Today we're going to be looking at Conrad von Karstein. He is a model for the Warhammer Fantasy range. He is in fine cast now. And you can also use him as a Blood Dragon's general because of his armor. You could paint it up to look like a Blood Dragon's knight. So you don't have to use him as Conrad von Karstein, but I think he works fine either way. If you don't want to take a special character, you can use him as your army general. His fluff is that he's a crazy, he's the craziest of the von Karstein vampires. He didn't have much tactics other than run forward and kill everything. So uh, they've reflected it pretty well in this miniature, I think. The way that they've modeled him to be holding his two swords up above his head, like in victory, looking that looking up at the at the blood splatter that's coming down off of it. Um so I noticed that he looks kind of similar to the Vlad von Karstein model in that he's got these this cape that flows around him, but instead of spooky ghost faces, they've got he's got bat wings. So I've already opened the model. We can take a look at it. <coughs> and let's zoom in as much as we can. So the detail is really nice on it. I've noticed things such as this on his knee pad. This little dragon skull looking thing that which I didn't really notice on the on the metal miniature before but the detail is fantastic like with the chainmail it's really superb high level of detail the sword handguard thank you fine cast it looks really well on this nothing is I can't see any besides the little lines of flash I don't see any holes or miscasts or air bubbles or anything which is really good. Fine cast is really getting its act together. Sword looks two swords look pretty straight. I don't have to bend them around like I did with Vlad. Is that a what is this? This might be a little bit no, it's just a little flick of dirt. I thought it was an air bubble for a second. Detail on the face. Looks really nice. And you can really tell with with such small details like the chainmail or the little beads around the guy's gauntlet that the fine cast model molding process has improved since its initial release. And in a way that's too bad because I almost would order a second figure or call GW and ask for a second figure <laughs> if if I could comes with one slot of base with a hole inside so he's meant to be angled at that diagonal facing forward like so so I, this I think this makes it good for when you're trying to rank him up the only other piece is his back this back piece which goes right over there behind his head. So let's just see how he ranks up in his slot of base. I've got some zombies here that he can line up next to. Let's put this guy's on this side. I think with all things in Warhammer Fantasy where they have to be ranked up, the hardest thing sometimes is going to be do they rank up? So maybe you just need to find the best the best matchup for your models. Does that work? Yeah, that that'll do. So so he does rank up. You just need to do a little bit of fidgeting with him, and there he is. So I'm going to take him away to get painted. I'll do another War Boss tutorial on my Conrad von Karstein. So stay tuned for that. Spooky Toberfest. <laughs> 